dittos. Yeah, they're doing dittos, man. Bro, they're, they're out here. They're Three, smiling. Two, one, go. Shulk dittos. It's, it's definitely really fun to watch a Shulk ditto if you're a fan of Shulk. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it's it's really fun. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I think Shulk Diddle should always be gentlemen to FD. I'm sorry, to Battlefield guy we're playing. In my opinion. Oh, oh dunk, man. Dunk this, him down. Get this, out of here. This I'm Diddle, a Shulk main. This Diddle looking like so one-sided, man. Is it even I'm a Diddle Shulk if you're main. losing so, far, so early? Give me the spacey. I will yeah. not be disrespected. I, I will not be I will not be called out in my house, sir. Thank you. I built this house. Yeah, I, yeah, I, was, <laughs> I built this house. I defended these walls from Mario. Where were you, Larry? Out there screaming. Wait, man, he tried to defend it against the Mario. He, he did, he did. He did it over at Fire and Dice last week. Oh. Oh. Larry taking a page out of Nico's book. Effectively landing with backslash on the ledge. Of course, now auto snapping. Definitely much more effective. Oh, that was so close. One thing about backslash in the neutral, it's also important to note too, is because a lot of players are getting used to dash dancing a lot, it's kind of almost okay to throw it out because sometimes you might catch them on the back mm -hmm. <laughs> in the middle of their dash dance. Definitely. Alright, well, Nico strike. I'm sorry, Larry's striking back, and of course, still gonna get clipped on that side B. Oh, bro, he scouted that out. Yeah, he did. I mean, come on, man. Nico's been main this character for years, man. He clocked in his 9 to 5 mm -hmm. for the past four he's years. He's put in the hours. He's got the retirement check. Yeah, dude. Pension's <laughs> looking nice. Yeah, then, and then all of a sudden, he won the lottery and says, you know, I'm coming back, bro. I'm coming back. But you're not gonna come back from that, that, that <laughs> deep. I like how you call it too, man. The pension check. <laughs> <laughs> he had it on deck, dude. He started living papers. good. <laughs> living good, man. Sipping on his iced tea, and then you know, Sakurai told him, "Like, yo, Nico, you just want the smash lottery, man. Show type tier now." Yeah, you know he's crying reading these patches. He's like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> you read the page, the front page of the news. Show top tier. Let's go. All right, into, into Buster, of course. That's more percent and more shield damage as well. Important to know how that art works. It's it's also a good pressure tool, but also a good comeback tool. That's kind of the thing about Buster Art. Mm -hmm. And think about speed art also as well as it reduces your jump height, so you're able to do air like things like you're gonna see short hop air. air yeah. yeah, short hop there you're gonna see that a lot more because of the jump height being reduced. Both Ooh, both oh my god! What a great bl backslash! I don't even know if Flurry was turned away. I couldn't see that. I feel. He, he threw it on a lot of backslashes to the point where I think he's trying to cancel Monado into something else. But that comes out because he's doing it too fast. But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that was on purpose. Yeah. He's kind of just like, oh, he and that up air will do it. And what if he Nico. switched to shield and just stopped immediately? Like he had the art out. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, up air still two hits. Of course, if you guys did not notice that, yeah, it is two hits. And we kind of like Coach Toasty said. I was trying to switch to shield, but he kind of stopped himself. Like, you know, I'm thinking I might be dead. <laughs> is, uh, is Shulk's up here still the strongest up here in the game? <sighs> that I do not know, actually. I, yeah, I, just, I don't think there's enough data yet to say, like, oh, this is this is it. But yeah, I, I, don't, I actually don't really know if it is. Uh, in 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 my opinion, I th I don't know. In my opinion, I, I really don't know, honestly. I haven't, I haven't looked at the data. I think the Belmonts have, like, some of the strongest up airs in the game. That so makes sense. Specifically because it has a tipper sweet spot. But because of the range it has, like you don't have to be that far. But I, I really don't know, man. Well, I'll ask Nico after this match. But Larry switching over to the Wolf. He, he tried it, and I'll give him that. It was, it looked he was putting up a good effort. But he came, he came to Nico's house, and he was like, "Yo, man, this is a house of cards. Unfortunately, it tumbled for me." Hey, he probably earned Nico's respect. He's like, "All right, so you've been taking some of my, uh, some of the things I've been telling you to do." <laughs> Definitely listen to Zan's advice for sure, too. Mm. All right, well. Go kind of just picking and choosing his way back to the stage. Think about think about the way that Nico has to see his matchup against Wolf. Right, is like once he gets him off the stage, that's where the work really comes in. Right, the neutral phase is pretty strong for both characters. Right, but you can kind of see that they're trying to space each other out. Like Larry's avoiding trying to get hit by the sword, and Nico's trying to hit him with the sword. Trying to start putting him in the ledge to get easy edge guards. Because Wolf's, Wolf's recovery is honestly pretty linear. He, he, the same way with all spaces, right? They're either going to go for side B or up B, but the problem with Wolf Lord is it doesn't auto snap the ledge when it goes for side B. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a risky move there. Yeah, you definitely have to space it to a point where you know he's going to go for it. And sometimes uh, the Wolf will mess it up, so it'll go to stage or go a little lower. And a lot of times you can just put up that hitbox at two frames well, and it'll hit it almost all the time. Yeah. You know, it's definitely a thing a lot of Wolves have been complaining about since we found out that it puts you in a free fall. Everyone's just saying, come on, man. Just let me act out of it. 
Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of a shame, right? Like you really do come into being in that side view when you go for it. Yeah, there's a lot of cool combos that you can do into the wolf flash that'll spike or kill, but a lot of it'll send you off stage. And people are just saying, "Let me act out of it only if I hit it, or only if I don't hit someone with it." Yeah. I mean, so far Larry not looking at any of those side B combos. He has a pretty nice lead here against Nico. It's definitely something you should do if you're a stock up, or you really need to close it out. Yeah. But you know, uh, like we've seen from Zachary, a lot of the times you could just do like a nair into side B on the stage and it'll just spike so fast that it'll send you up and kill you or it'll get uh, just not the sweet spot range so it'll send you really far to the right or left. Right down to a leg looking for neutral air. Up throw looking for the upper oh. and I like it because this time he tried to read where Larry was going to go to try to escape it. Right it right there but the air dodge going to come in clutch right there. Back throw that's not gonna kill him. Oh, <laughs> he did not see that raining landing. from the heavens, but oh, side B in the middle of the stage, like I'm saying, it's just so good because once you uh, you can you can adjust the angle either going up or down. So once you do it down, you're really close to the floor. So it's a thing you can actually try to do on stage if someone's committing too hard, or if you're conditioning them to jump a lot, you could just shoot them right out of the sky. Yeah. Well said, man. Well said, and of course, well played for Larry. Gonna be 1 1 against Nico. Larry coming out here to claim his throne. 8 1 8 as Nico currently sitting on it with some great tournament victories in his hands. Alright, well, game three, pretty crucial game three, honestly. If you, any, if there's any way to say, right, game three is important because of stage picks afterwards, but also it is known as the, to the turning point for both players. One player will be set to set point, and the other will have to fight from the bottom up. That's when you see a player think the most. Yeah. They can just immediately go back to the game for like the first couple of games. And once they lose that and they're down 2-1, they're like, all right, what do I need to do? What do I need to change? What's happening right now? How did I get here? Yeah. So you'll see people take some deep uh, some deep thoughts. We'll really go into it. Ooh, back air catching uh, Nico not really doing anything. Up throw into up air. I like it. Larry is going for a solid percent. Nice cross up with the back air. Up throw. Ooh. He was smash R and that'll do it. Again. That, like it just happened so fast. You're looking for him, and then he's flying off the stage. Yeah. Dash tag into fair. The Buster Art. Uh, I was going to say, a lot of neutral play, people trying to space things out, but Larry going to kind of crack first, go for that dash tag, and immediately gets punished for it. He's not only one of these players really wants to lose his stock, and Larry, he is up the percent, but he's not really trying to... He, he's not going super hard for the kill, as I say that he will flashes, but he just he's content with just spacing him out and then playing the neutral and waiting for Nico to do something, uh, something not smart. Ooh. I was going to say that. It's that's a 70. A that was some crazy percent. I was gonna say, not smart, man. Nico looking at the, looking at the smart plays there. I'm so sorry. I kind of got lost in my words. That was, yeah. That's the power of rage, smash art, shulk. Yeah, of course. Rage nerfed. If for those of you wondering, it, it is nerfed from Smash Four. Yeah, Thirty-three percent wow. less potent. That's the that, wait. What's the new number then? Thirty-three point three percent. Okay. Yeah, that was, a, that was a number I was wondering about. And it just starts at 120 flat, right? Yeah. Alright, that is... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It starts at 120 flat. Back then, like, it, you had rage of different percents. Mm, then it went up now to 150. It, yeah, and then, like, it was, like, 60, 100, and then max rage was 150. Mm. Ooh, nice F-tilt, but gonna... Oh, that's gonna do it. Yeah, this time he's gonna, gonna claw him out of there. Up throw into forward air, I like it. It's not before he gets that quick 30% because of uh, Buster. Nico switching to jump art, hoping to get, get Larry off stage. Larry, of course, keen to play the ground game and punish Nico on the landings. That's the thing to notice about a lot of the swordsmen, right? Their landings, you can definitely really punish that. Oh my god, that's a nice forward tilt. Nico not going to go for the tech roll and avoiding that down smash. Ooh, that. Really slow tomahawk, but he's still going to get it nonetheless. I like how he was stuck in hits done there, and he just switched to his art, trying to pick and choose which was the best one to come back to the stage with. Hey man, he had time to he had time to decide. Oh, oh no! It looked like a shield poke too. That might. I. 
I don't know. That was shield poking is the thing about shield poking too. That that's what I'm kind of questioning. It is a lot more potent and relevant now in the game due to the fact that shields run out faster than it was in back in Smash 4. This game really does encourage offensive play over defensive play. For sure. You can definitely see that in parry. You can see that in being able to cancel a grab with your own grab, aka known as uh, block. block uh, I forgot the name. The term, proper term for it. Most people just call it tech and grab, but... Yeah. I, I know the term you're talking about, but I also can't think of it. Yeah, it's, it's like a Street Fighter term, and it's not coming to my mind right now. It's like block canceling. Yeah. It is a, it's, it's really cool, but people aren't thinking about doing it yet. Whenever it happens, it's usually both uh, trying to do it at the same time. Yeah, it, it, it actually is more effectively a read, too. Mm -hmm. Same thing for parrying, right? Like, you can go for parries, but most players tend to go for a parry because they have a read because they're used to Napoleon's moves. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's the really good thing about a uh, Firewolf right there is that it just has that lot of knockback at the end and sometimes when you hold down it'll just send horizontally for some reason yeah and with that uh larry is taking this momentum smash. all right doing the smash art back here uh, now nico gets the stock here 62 percent to his name larry definitely putting up a lot of fight here Looking to move on to Grand Finals, one your side, Nico has still with a good fight. One thing that, like I said, Larry's been doing is catching Nico on the landing and trying to play the ground game, but now that Nico has Larry off, uh, in the air, it's kind of tough for him to really react to it. Wolf really doesn't have too much to do at disadvantage. He's kind of forced to reset himself at the ledge, like many characters would. Another back air, just barely going to live that. And that Wolf Blaster, it's that, that blaster is so good. It, the transcended hitbox, the fact that the beginning of the gun actually has a hitbox too. Yeah, if you're too close to it, like, you really feel the damage. Mm. Forward throw. Fred didn't try to go for down throw, but I suppose I wouldn't have killed. Yeah. Stuck in shield dart, but that's running out. 192 for Nico. If he's going to get a clutch opportunity, misses oh, the upgrade. Nice parry. Two hits. Larry parries the second hit there. I like it. Tries to go for the empty hop, but gets the forward air. The back throw. Yeah, get him out of there. Larry with a good lead. Nico taking the time to breathe there at the Angel platform, trying to see what his best option is. He's just not used to all these safe aerials that Larry is putting out. He's hitting him and then running away and then punishing him, not really knowing what to do against Wolf, it almost seems like. Yeah. Oh, I like the idea. I respect it too, because like you said, he was on the platform, the angle that was sent out, up, beat out of shield, not going to kill Wolf. Nico needs to finally take a stock here. He's definitely feeling the heat and the pressure. The pummel, up throw. Again, going for these reads. He's so close, but just barely missing his mark. Quick F tilt. Oh, I love that. I, I love that. That was so good. Don't your air, getting Nico on the neutral get up. Nico definitely feeling the pressure, just trying to come out with a potential hitbox. Still able to recover with the jump art, and he's able to get the grab and the throw. Not going to kill without smash art. These reads that Larry's going for it. So, he's got the right idea, oh, no. but he's just so far off. But the... Uh, the quick F smash gonna gonna pounce him out. Larry gonna go into winners finals. I actually don't even know what the name is. I usually just call it the Wolf Punt because it is more of a punt than it was compared to Smash for, uh, Brawl. Just a just a quick palm strike, yeah. honestly. Yeah, it, yeah, it's more the the, the Wolf the Wolf Claw, <laughs> the Wolf Palm. Like you know how they call it Tiger Palm. Yeah. Wolf Palm. Yeah, the Wolf Palm. It's the only name again.